Hey guys, it's Leanne. I know it's been a while, so I just wanted to get back in touch with everyone. Um, so, I've officially passed nursing school. It took me a semester longer than it meant to, but I did it. And I thought I would make a video of how I'm studying for NCLEX, or how I plan to study for NCLEX. My school provided Kaplan, um, so I do have a Kaplan account. Uh, so if your school provides Kaplan, or if you have Kaplan, then this might be helpful for you. First, um, sorry about that. I really thought I disliked Kaplan, so I bought Sorry, my dog's in the background freaking out. Um, so I bought a Saunders textbook, this one. Now I bought the new one so I could have, um, or bought edition 8, just so it was the most updated. But I know the 7, and I believe even the 6, it's barely changed since then. Um, That might be more helpful if you're taking it before 2023 when NCLEX changes, but right now I plan on taking it hopefully January time, maybe February at latest. But so I have Saunders and I, let's see, I have a calendar I can show you too. Um, so with the Saunders textbook, there is an online code. And that online code allows you to access um, like a pretest. And with the pretest, you can take it and figure it'll tell you what you need to study in a six week plan. So, like here is my six week plan. I guess you can stop it and look at it. Um, so, Along with Kaplan, I was going to use Saunders to study. So I integrated that Kaplan, what or what Saunders said I should study, and what chapters and all that with my Kaplan. Now Kaplan, they don't give you like a, take this quiz, this is your study plan, this is what you should do. And my anxiety wants to know what I should do. So, I, I have the Saunders. I made my own study plan using just, I'll get into it, but using just a PDF or I think I made it on Excel. Um, but I set it, I made it an eight week calendar to study for NCLEX, but I think I will only be using maybe six weeks of it, seven weeks pushing it, depending on when I can take NCLEX. Now, I've done everything, but my transcript has not got, it has not been sent out by the school, and I have not got my ATT email or however that comes to me. So now with Kaplan, it's, like I said, paid for through my school, so we have a subscription to it, I guess, um, and they provided us with a class to attend for three days. Before the class, we had this little list of things to do. You can pause and look at it. But it was more like download this ebook, uh, watch these five videos, take the diagnostic test, which I took that. And then there's trainers one, two, and three, which were all, I believe, 75 questions. And it was supposed to help, like, see where we are, which then the class kind of reviewed those tests with us. There is some videos to watch, and then the posters, classroom posters, are like the Kaplan decision decision tree, which I think this was very helpful. I wished it was taught in nursing school, but it wasn't. But they try to teach you different ways to utilize this without knowing you're utilizing this. So it goes over like five steps of identify the topic. What is it? What is the question asking? 
and then you look at the answers and assess if there are assessments or implementations, if you need to assess first before acting, you can eliminate the implementations, and then if you don't need to assess, then look at the implementations, but then look at their physical or psychosocial. Normally you will eliminate psychosocial and go to physical. And then after physical, oh, if they're psychosocial, if they're all psychosocial, then ABCs are out of the, out of the next step. But if they're physical, we go over ABCs, which is airway, breathing, circulation. And in step five, we look at the remaining answers and just determine what the outcomes would be. So they gave, we printed out that, we have rules for delegation, the five rights of delegation, kind of like a priority, who do you see first, and when you look at that, you look at the unstable versus stable, expected versus expected, ABCs, acute versus chronic, and actual versus potential, to help eliminate questions. Um, they give us like NCLEX traps of like, do not ask why. Do not leave the client. Do not persuade the client. Do not say don't worry. Do not pass the buck. Um, don't read into the questions and do not do nothing. They also gave us more like therapeutic communication tips of what to do or do not do. So those were all helpful. And like I said, we did that in three days. Each of those days were like eight hours. So I counted those as three in my first study days. And then, so that's all of phase one, doing this piece that I showed you earlier, which all the like three class days is considered phase two. And then there's a 60 question like NCLEX practice test and a Session 8, I guess, if you want to call it that, it's called Roadmap to Success. So you just go to that live video or recorded. I did mine today and watched a recorded one. Then, after that, you're now officially on Phase 3. And with Phase 3, you would take Question Trainer 4, 5, 6, and 7, as well as 4 sample, like, NCLEX tests and then a readiness test. Now before, in our nursing program, we took a readiness test and a diagnostic test. Or, yeah. Yes, that's correct, we did. And then, so that gives us a percentage. Now Kaplan told us in class, like, you want to score between 60 to 65%. Kaplan makes me feel stupid, so that's why I don't like Kaplan. Um, I was scoring like 50s, high 50s, sometimes high 40s. It kind of just depends on the test I took throughout nursing school. But if you scored in the 60s, you're doing well. But so I, again, I'm making this video to talk about like how I'm studying. So now that I've done the three classes, printed off this, I am going through each of my trainers that I've taken. So like, I think today, I just, I didn't get around to reviewing my third Kaplan trainer yesterday, so I'm doing that today. And out of my Saunders textbook, I'm answering, um, like, the questions out of it, each chapter, so... Today's chapter is 44 and 46, which are endocrine problems, and they kind of help you focus on what you need based off of your, I'm so sorry, based off, based off of what you scored and what you did well or didn't do well in. So, it's important to schedule breaks, it's important to figure out how you need or want to study, and Kaplan's roadmap really helped me kind of figure out how much, how many hours I need to study, based off of just Kaplan's um, roadmap to success, so this isn't even counting my Saunders yet, 
but they're saying that I need to answer all que all the questions, which is about 2,075 questions. They estimate that it takes you about 72 seconds per question, so a minute and 20 seconds per question. So the 2,075 questions times 72 seconds comes out to 42 hours. And you are to reflect and remediate time should be three times longer than it took for test time. So if it took me 42 hours to get all of those, what, 2,075 questions, then, right, did I say that right? So if it took me 42 hours to answer those 2,000 questions, it needs to take me three times longer to review those questions. So 42 hours times three is 126 hours. So Kaplan is estimating bare minimum you spend 126 hours on their content. Now, an example I'm trying to get I'm hoping I'm studying early so that I can get NCLEX in five weeks or four weeks from now. So study for five weeks. So that means I have to get a hundred yes, a hundred and sixty eight. So a hundred and twenty nine hours or a hundred and twenty six hours that it took to reflect on my 2,000 questions, which should have took me 42 hours, those together make 168 hours that I should be doing for this phase three, they call it. Now, if I'm doing that in five weeks, 168 hours divided by five weeks would be about 34 hours a week. Now, obviously, you need to base this off of if you work and give yourself study breaks and stuff like that. So, if I'm trying to get it done in five weeks, it's 34 hours a week, which comes out to about seven hours a day. Now, my I'm also putting in Saunders. So, I'm just trying to do the six weeks that Saunders that I should do, too. So I kind of alternate between the two of them and try to get it all done. So I'll show you in my little calendar so you can stop and look at it. But the days that what's in light green is Kaplan, what's in light blue is Saunders, and then I work, and then break is in dark blue. Now, obviously, I've already, like, one day got behind of reviewing my Kaplan 3 trainer. So, obviously, I'm doubling up today. And then I might, if I push things back, I need to make sure that I get through all of this. So, goal is to feel confident while I'm taking my exams or quizzes and stuff and feel utilized this decision tree on all my questions and feel confident while I'm taking it. I care about the scores, but I don't care about the scores. I don't want to memorize the questions. I want to understand the content. So in my mind, if I, even if I wanted to repeat some of these Kaplan trainers and stuff to get better answers, I want to repeat them to be more successful and understand what I'm doing rather than um, memorizing the answers. So like I was just repeating or reflecting on my Kaplan Trainer 3 which I originally got a 43%. Not great, but it helps me see like how many did I get wrong in a row? Like, when I reflect, I guess I can kind of show you that too. Let me pull that up on my computer screen. I don't think I can... 
turn you around though is the problem. Okay. So, I'll kind of describe what I'm doing. I'm going to look over every single question. There was a hundred questions. I'm going to look at them all. It, no matter if I got them right or wrong, I'm going to look at them all. And Kaplan, Saunders, all of these content should tell you what you scored on each little section. So like psychosocial, I got 38%. I probably felt like some physical thing should have came first before psychosocial, but then there's physiolo physiological, I got 38% there too. Um, health promotion and maintenance, I got a 62%. Safety, I got a 48%. Now that's safety for the nurse or the patient that's different and how it breaks down. but my like cognitive level I can look at all that and see like okay I'm doing good on comprehension I'm not doing as well on like analyzing or application so I can break that down and see it and when I go to review it what I do is like even if I got it right or wrong I have I just write down what the idea was for the section so here I've gotten through 25 of them. 25 of my 100 questions. So like, the question was asking about NG tubes and what I should do before tube feed. Now, you think of the ivory tower of nursing where you have all the time, you have all the resources. That's, that's not a problem. You're not short staffed. You're not You're not running out of time to do everything. So, in that situation, I just wrote NG tubes, you aspirate the pH before tube feet. Okay. And it's like my suicidal patient is improving. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to reevaluate his care plan. For like my type 1 diabetes that needs care for the feet with new shoes. I got that wrong. And I wasn't. I wasn't sure on that question anyways, but so I wrote down, like, my question I believe said, like, go get your sh shoes in the morning, go buy new shoes in the morning, uh, measure each time, get a half size larger or something like that. So, I wrote down what was correct. You should buy them in the afternoon. You should measure your feet every single time. Don't get a half size bigger, get your true size. And so I just kind of went over each and every single one of those and put a little bit of what I think is important, what Kaplan said was correct. So I'm hoping that can help you. I was looking for people to help me <laughs> figure out how I should study, but I truly think I, between Kaplan, even just Saunders, I think I could do well, um, but I did find my NCLEX study guide that I, I wouldn't say copied from, but got inspiration from, was this one, and it's from, I'll put it down in the description too, but, Marcola, Marcola? www.marcloma.com I just, I Google searched um, blank and click study plan and that was one I found. It was green and white and I printed it obviously in black and white. But So I looked at that. I didn't like the space I had and I wanted to be able to type in it. So I made a Excel sheet. You can do it at work, you can do it in Excel, do whatever. But I think just Setting up a plan for yourself, scheduling in, if you work, schedule in the days that you plan to work. If you don't work, then great, fine. If you, like, just schedule in your breaks. Schedule in, like, what days you don't want to, you can't study every single day. Your brain's going to go to mush. So, 
I think it's important to take care of yourself as well as studying for NCLEX and making sure that you will be successful and pass on the first try. Um, so if you have any more questions or want to see more, let me know in the comments below or message me because I would like to find out if what I'm doing is helpful for everyone or anyone that's listening to this. But if you would like me to go more detailed over like what I've done and so far how I studied or what I exact like seeing more of the paperwork or what exactly I've done, um, let me know in the comments below so that I can be more helpful to everyone that wants to pass the NCLEX on the first try. So, good luck. You're going to make it. You're going to be great. Setbacks are okay. And I just want you to know that I support you. I'm rooting for you. You're going to make it. You'll be great. NCLEX is not about passing at 75 questions. It's about passing. I don't care if you got to question 175. If you passed, you pass pure nurse, and that's great. So, I will see you guys later. Bye!